Hey, I'm back. I uh, I wanted to show you what I'm doing here before I finish it. I don't know, I'm gonna get another chance to, to get the camera out. So what I've taken, I've got my PEX PVC tubing there in the one inch uh, oxygen barrier. I took that and I wrapped it with those black foam insulation pre-slit insulators. You get them at uh, Lowe's for about a dollar a piece or so. I put those on, as you can see, I zip tied them on. I zip tied them on both ends next to the seam and then in the middle and then I zip tied them together every other uh, in between the the middle and the edges where I've already had it so I've got about five zip ties per length there but then I took it and I wrapped it with uh, I've got 30 uh, R30 insulation there for attic batting it's in four inch or 48 inch four foot sections I would probably have gone with a lower batting level just because I did have to tape it a little bit tight uh, so then I, I wrapped that around I'm, I'm putting it in 8 inch tubing after I did that in order to protect that stuff so that it doesn't get eaten up by the uh, corrugated I've put black plastic on I used a 3 foot by 50 foot piece um, and I'll end up having 4 of those actually I have 200 feet so uh, I got all that stuff in place I then tied the other end of my uh, let me go over here. I tied the other end of my tubing onto the tree down there. I hope you can see that. Um, and then I've got that here now. I've put two wraps around my corrugated and I've actually tied those onto the back of the truck. And I've got my, my beautiful wife sitting up in there. She's going to uh, pull forward. I've already tried this so it does work. I've probably got, oh, 25 foot of it in through there already. Go ahead and start the truck. Start pulling forward again. So, uh, just show you. I am gonna, I am kind of holding it up to uh, to lead it a bit. Um, when she gets tight there, let me see if I can do this. Okay, so right there, and then it just slides. It really just slides right in there. Uh, I probably want to be careful on. I actually probably don't need to walk with it. See right there, it kind of got a little tight, so I want to keep that from happening. Uh, but just keep it lined up and let it go. Make your knots so they're not slip knots. I'm going to have her stop here in a second and then uh, fix those because they're starting to get a little tight there. But there you go. Uh, it's a little bit overkill. According to my good friend John W., he, uh, he just says just uh, stick your pipe in there and put an extra log in it. But you got to love the work ethic of the Amish. So anyways, have a good night and a good day. Hope your uh, wood burner project, if you're building one, is going well. And uh, I'll get you updated here pretty soon on the progress on the firebox and the water jacket. See ya.